Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my tutorial on how to find the Hermit's Hideaway as well as a few other tips about things about Granite Falls. And to start with, they are my family that I have who is the family that I have used before in these tutorials and they're a family that I have been doing the what the what is called the nomad challenge with which I have a, I will put links down below for the details and they essentially they're nomads they couldn't put down any roots until they finished their first collection but they have done that now so they actually can but that was sort of the premise behind and the goal is to like finish all the base game collectibles and to build a museum to house them all in but they're still in the very early stages but they have finished their first collection so we are at the campgrounds in Granite Falls and the neighborhood has the campgrounds and then there are four other rentals and if you're by the campgrounds over to the left of the campgrounds when you're facing the water over there in the river is a uh, bathroom and a shower which you do need to use that bathroom because the campground doesn't have a toilet or anything like that and you can't build on there on any of these lots unless you use the cheat bb dot enable free build that will also hold true for the Hermit's Hideaway. The same is true. You can actually edit these lots if you go in from the world view and just edit them before your sims go without using cheats. But you can edit it easily with a cheat. But I'm not planning on doing that because we're not planning on spending much time here. So over here to the left, like I said, is the toilets and the shower. And over here to the right, is where you can buy supplies and I have one of my sims already going over there if I remember correctly to buy them so we can take a quick look at what you can get at this point in time when I'm recording this I have everything in my game except for seasons because it is not out yet but perhaps there'll be some more things added with that but they're not here and also over here you can see there's a little garden a little community garden which has a few items it has onions and they're not ready to harvest potatoes and I think there's carrots yep and then there is another carrot plant there are also tomatoes in the area and you can find basil sage and parsley I believe yeah you can find parsley though some of those may be more likely to be found over at the hermit's hideaway because some things you can find there but no strawberries and are in the neighbor like you can actually just find wandering around along with of course the 10 plants as that you can find in granite falls which you need to work on your herbalism skill and to be able to craft the various concoctions so the other thing with the camping area or the residential or the rental area i should say of granite falls is in the middle is this big bear and if your sim is level seven of handiness they can come over here and they can learn the, the woodworking schematic and if they happen to have the marketable trait which i don't believe leon has i'm just checking if i ever gave it to him i may not have because there are some glitches with the marketable trait tied in with the vet table and whatnot that uh, they can't uh craft repeatedly whereas in the, the reset afterwards and you have to pick up the item and put it in their inventory so i think i purposely didn't give it to him so he's sitting here learning the schematic but once he finishes that he will be able to make it'll come up with a message he'll be able to make a miniature version of this and then you can sell that just like any other sculptures but i find it's more valuable than the regular sculptures that you can do and if you have the marketable trait it's even more valuable than if you don't have it it has some random upside potential other words unlike painting it sort of has set values that it's worth depending on the quality of it now i thought i had sent tina she did not listen so i'm going to take leon because he's closer there he is it didn't quite go with him I'm going to take him over here to buy supplies so we can take a look at what they have and then we'll go up and walk up to it and pretend like there's someone inside and uh, you'll get a pop-up of all the items that are available to buy here at this uh, kiosk in Granite Falls and you can either look at them like through everything and then otherwise there's the supplies which has your tents which there's two sizes there's the one the big one that holds four people the cabin in a bag and then there's a couple of types of coolers and then there's the easy camper tent which holds two people 
And then they have some lanterns, the mega cooler. There's no real difference between the small cooler and the big cooler other than it costs more. And then two types of campfires. And this one, the furniture has some double blow up mattress bed, some single ones, a table, some chairs, love seats, and the little list big bed for toddlers to sleep on. So they can sleep on that. And then under fun, you have a few uh, skill books, fishing and herbalism, which are things you can do here in Granite Falls, a couple of actual books, a gaming table that you can play with, which and um, some violins and a guitar. And then under ingredients, interestingly enough, you can buy some plants. You can buy apple, basil, grow fruit, which was a limited time event uh, that you can still buy it here in Granite Falls, onion, parsley, potato, sage, and tomato. And all of those things, except I believe the apple and the grow fruit, can be found out and about in the world. And then of course, because there is pets, there are some pet supplies that you can get too. Just the very basics, a litter box, a pet food box, pet food bowl, uh, sleep beds, and some balls so that they can play. And I don't need anything, so I'm going to just close out because you can also buy those items, obviously, on your home lot before you come because all of them will fit in your personal, your Sims personal inventory so they can take them with them. So that's kind of just it in a nutshell. And when you go around here, there is the various plants, they're ready to harvest, and there's bugs around that you can get to. And this is a a wild plant, which if you're trying to complete the outdoor enthusiast aspiration, that's what it is. And they don't have to be 10 different, you just have to be 10 unidentified plants, and you'll find some of them are gonna be the same. And then you have to catch five fish and granite falls, which they haven't done. So I've sort of given you a brief overview of what's here. We are going to go head over to the national park, because that is where you need to go to be able to find the the um, entrance way to go to the hermit's hideaway. So I'm going to hit the M key and bring up the map. So this is where they actually are staying. And then there are these other four residences that you can rent instead. And you can place other lots here from the editing. And that didn't used to be a thing, but it is now. So you can like place a restaurant or whatever in Granite Falls and place them there or a spa. And there's that uh, big bear in the middle, the sculpture in the middle that Leon just learned. And over here is Granite Falls Forest. So we're going to, I'm going to take all three of them over there. And then we are going to go hunt for the hermit's hideaway. I'll be back. So they're here at the national park. And this is a lot that you can edit freely. And the lot that you can edit is over here. And it has, um, as it stands, there's the ability to play chess. There's a toilet. There is no shower here. There is the public showers. They have the same public toilet and showers that they have in the other place. And there is a cooler that I have had my regs riches Sims come to Granite Falls and make their start here. And they uh, live off this cooler because it's free. <laughs> the public one. There is a, a woodworking bench that you can make things. Of course, you need some money to be able to make things with them. And then there's also a little lookout space up here. If you go all the way up to the top, there's a nice little area which has a table and a lantern and you can sit and enjoy the view. Now this particular item here is what I use or used to use in particular when I first started coming and looking for the Hermit's Hideaway because if you pick it up and have it in the corner and keep going, it is sort of a little bit of a beacon. See, there it is. There's the guide to getting to the um, Hermit's Hideaway. This is where you need to explore. But what is interesting is that kids can also explore. So we're going to send Damien to go exploring right now. So he's going to go and there's lots of bugs over here. There's bugs in all the neighborhoods. You don't need to, uh, this neighborhood, the neighborhood where you have the rentals and the campsite has bugs and also the hermit's hideaway has bugs. And while they're doing that, I'm going to take them to go do some fishing over here. And I am going to cancel that for him because I don't want him to go get this out of the way. There are also plants. There's some dig sites and there's the fire leaf plants that they might burn themselves doing, which I don't think they've quite, I thought they came pretty soon, but sometimes I find the fire leaf in particular blends a little bit. 
but uh, it tends to be over thin. And one thing that I have found is that when my sims fish over here, oh, there we go. We got the first pop-up, exploring the brambles. Surrounded by thicket, thorns, and danger, most assuredly, Damien is left with only one decision, step forward or retreat from adventure. So, of course, we're going to step forward because if you retreat, you're not going to continue going through the brambles. So this, and he's going to make a mess when he gets out the other side. Okay. Um, you can catch tents at this particular site. So we have the next one. As he pushes through the foliage with intrepid courage, a bubbling brook emerges should he stop to fish. So we're going to keep walking. So now we have, he marches through the brush in high spirits, swinging arms and singing songs when a shiny object catches the eye. Ah, temptation. So we need to ignore the object. So now we have the option to travel towards a sim. And one of the other pop-ups that I have had when I've gone through here is that they'll ask about whether you need to, whether you want to go through a spider web or not. And you need to go through the spider web, otherwise uh, it won't work. So we're going to travel towards the sim and I will be back when he gets there. So Damien's here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the other two here because this is how you bring your members of your household, at least, over to the hidden lots, as I've shown when we were in the other spots. And again, this lot can't be edited unless you use the bb.enable free build cheat, which I'll also put down below so that it's there. And when you get here, it's like this, you know, this big, uh, the lot itself is quite small. This is the lot, and you will you would see how small it was if I was to go with a build put the free build but it really it's essentially this it's a very very small lot but then it has this sort of neighborhood around it and when you get here usually he or she because it can be a man or a woman is over here looking after this garden which has some of the items they have the tomato bush and there is some potatoes that's another tomato bush I'd say that's tomatoes carrots and carrots and then over here there is more oh parsley so there's some parsley and some of these are ingredients you actually need for doing the herbalism recipes but not all of them but some definitely are and there's some strawberries around and this is this neighborhood has three at least plants sort of in the actual neighborhood that are blackberry bushes and they're available to harvest where you can get one blackberry as soon as you arrive you don't need to wait for them to mature if you want them all to mature you need to wait some more but there is always one when you come and there is also a garden over by the her the uh hermit's lot where the few plants that are the you know the local plants that come with outdoor retreat they're ready to harvest but the ones that are like this you have to wait and hang out a little bit before you can get to um let's see until before you can harvest them. So we're going to do some friendly introductions because one part of the outdoor enthusiast in uh, aspiration is that you need to befriend the hermit. So we're just going to have her have them all come over here. And I think if your herbalism skill is high enough, you can learn a special recipe. But they they're still pretty low on the herbalism skill, so they don't know very much yet. So I'm gonna while well, they're coming over to try and introduce themselves to the hermit. We are going to take a quick look around, other than I showed you where the plant was, where there, the plant, there is some fishing here. I showed you where the hermit is himself or herself lives. They always have the same traits. They never change. Here is one of the spots that has a blackberry bush up here, which I'm not even seeing, strangely. It's almost like it's not here, but when it comes up, it's like really available right away. Because unless I, because it's usually, maybe I just have gone too far. This is where one of the blackberry bushes usually is, over here. But we have just got here. <laughs> so, oh, there it is. You saw it if you were looking. And see, we can harvest it right away. So it spawns with it being ready to harvest immediately. And there are lots of bugs over here. So sometimes I found some of the rarer bugs you can find over in this neighborhood. And there's like some of the mushrooms. And there are two types of mushrooms. And I find sometimes you can't get the second type of mushroom without coming over to the hermit's hideaway and i don't think the same is true with and so there there's the chamomile plant and then a couple of the other ones and then just some regular ones a strawberry bush but as you can see these aren't ready to harvest but these ones as i said are ready to harvest and 
the hermit's house does have a bathroom that I find once I usually make my sims get to know the hermit first and then once they know the hermit I will let them use it and there's a grill outside you know a kitchen inside I honestly I use them but I, I usually make it a rule that they have to know them and I don't find that the hermit kicks you off like sometimes they will do in some of the other places so you'll see there's some more plants a couple more plants over here and this is uh, another blackberry but the ones that are on his lot aren't ready to harvest right away you have to wait so and the other little tip or trick over here is that you know how I said that there was a tent that you can catch when you're fishing in the national park this fishing spot while you can also catch all the fish that come in Granite Falls as well as some other fish including sturgeon you can catch the shower the tarps which we have one in our inventory so I'll just we have one just because they already bought one because it's a nomad challenge they had to have this type of sh shower because it's portable and goes in and out of their inventory and so they're allowed to use that before they were able to put down any roots so you need outdoor retreat to be able to do this particular challenge fully so there's what you can catch when you're fishing here so I find that kind of fun sometimes I make them when I do challenges I make them come to Granite Falls and they can't have a tent until they catch one and they can't have a shower until they catch it either <laughs> I make them wash up at the sink and stuff like that but that's sort of it in a nutshell that's how you get to Granite Falls and sorry that's how you find the Hermit's Hideaway and you know a couple of things where you can you get the blackberries there are a couple more blackberry plants in this neighborhood here and they are going to be the same where you can harvest and even though it said it was harvestable there is only one blackberry when you harvest it but they make lots of money generally unless that changes with the uh the patch that's coming before seasons but uh, at the time of recording they're quite lucrative usually and uh, one thing is that there is a tie-in between granite between the herbalism skill and getting your sims to learn it and to get the ingredients for it and going to uh, Selva Dorada and exploring there because if you get your herbalism high enough and get the ingredients you can make insect repellent and if your sims put that on themselves when they're in Selva Dorada they get 12 hours of protection from the bugs you know when they do the bug attacks and stuff like that but uh, that's for a different tutorial but there is that fun tie-in and you can also make the deodorizing cream but that one's not as because you can also just buy the water ball in a can too but uh, it's something else but that is it for this part thanks very much for watching this tutorial I will be back with another tutorial on uh, exploring Selvaderata and also on how to get to Saxan. But that's for another part. Thanks very much for watching. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!